Well, good afternoon and welcome along to Kranji. You're very welcome to KRTV here at the Singapore Surf Club. But as you can see behind me, the track is in splendid condition and we've got 10 races coming up here this afternoon. Our feature race is a Kranji Stakes C plus a Class 3 race as well, which includes the very smart Tuesday going up in grey, taking on some more seasoned campaigners. Uh, the likes of BB in the race, a recent trial winner as well, who was mightily uh, impressive. Just to update you uh, on the track conditions and some of the, uh, the absentees, all of the EAs uh, will be out here this afternoon. The only non-runner from a race proper is uh, Apollo Rock in race number four, and that allows a run for stablemate Gravel Road, who will now be the mount of uh, young apprentice and, uh, well, talented apprentice, Simon Cock. Um, we've had 34 mil of rain in the last week. They've put some 15 mil of irrigation on uh, since Thursday as well, so certainly uh, preparing the track nicely uh, for racing here this afternoon. Let's have a look at this track now. We'll get our camera around just to pan down and have a have a look at it. As you can see, a good covering of grass here uh, on the Kranji track. There has been a bit of remedial work, and as you can see in the distance, uh, a bit of water being put on the poly track. They were putting some water on uh, the turf earlier on as well, as you can see. So uh, the conditions look ideal, really. As we just have a wander over here, uh, and you can just see, um, if I dig the heel in there a little bit, it's obviously quick ground. It always is. Uh, here in Singapore traditionally, but uh, the going is 5.0 on the turf uh, and 36 degrees uh, on the poly track here this afternoon. So conditions look ideal. Obviously, I think it's a big day uh, in store for trainer Michael Clements. He's got some lovely horses on the card, starting in the third uh, with Prosperous Return for the Tivic Stable. He's been doing wonderful things of late, uh, and he's also got Starlight in the fifth. I think it's a decent chance in that race uh, as well. He's actually going up in trip today. I must say it's very hot here this afternoon. Uh, and Tuesday in race number nine, uh, as we've mentioned there briefly, uh, we'll hear from Ray shortly as well. He gives a good spin on this horse. I know it's one that he really likes uh, here this afternoon. So Michael and Louis possibly uh, in store for a very big day on the card. I I do like BB as well though in that ninth race. I think he's a decent chance uh, BB and certainly not without some sort of hope there if he can bounce back to his very best. But let's cross uh, over to Ray. Let's find out where he's got to. He's going to be in the parade ring for us uh, this afternoon. Um, Ray, Tuesday, uh, one of the uh, the nice horses on the program. I know he's a horse that you quite like and uh, good morning to you. How are things? All right, Nick. Oh, welcome to the paddock here. As you can see in the paddock, it's a bit quiet right now. But later comes about 4 p.m. One of Michael Clemens uh, stars will be competing in the afternoon at the Class 3's Tuesday. We're talking about an up-and-coming three years old, a promising stars who will be competing in the higher class. But this is going to be tough for him. But we hope he can make it. And also one of Michael Clemens stars, uh, Prosperous Returns, who got two wins in a row so far. Can he make in the hat trick? Remains to be seen. But he will fight on. Another promising star, Starlight. Had a little bit of mishap last start. But uh, with a chance today in the class four, looks like he can be able to uh, handle the class four easily, right? Um, right now in the afternoon, I'll be here in the commentary room, give you the, the lowdown of the uh, paddock. Of course, I hope to see you again. I'm back to you, Nick. Yes, thank you, Ray. Um, we'll be catching up with you later on, of course, uh, down in the parade ring. Ten races coming up, and Raymond Young, our man with his finger on the pulse, down in the parade ring ahead of the first uh, of our races coming up at 12.30 here this afternoon. I mentioned that fifth race, Starlight. There's another interesting horse in the race, and that is Atlas for trainer Shane Birchiger. Second start for Shane. Uh, and, uh, well, we managed to catch up with his assistant trainer, Scott Bailey, uh, earlier on this week to shed a little bit of light on this horse who is returning uh, to a more suitable uh, set of conditions. And, uh, and here's what Scott had to say. Happy with the way he's uh, come to us from Cliffy Browns. He's had one run for us and he's pulled up well from that. That was on the poly. He's probably more suited to the turf and uh, we're looking forward to see how he steps out this weekend. And arguably, looking at just sort of the handicap and the weight he's got and the conditions, everything seems to tie in quite nicely for him. Yeah, it does. Um, like I said, that run the other week, that'll just uh, really hit him out nicely for this week. And hopefully, uh, Matty gives him a nice steer and uh, he's in the finish somewhere. Well, Scott Bailey there then regarding uh, Atlas. I wish them well. Scott Bryce, uh, his owner, obviously now they moved back to Australia. Uh, we'll certainly be watching on with plenty of interest, I am sure. Um, one other trainer that could certainly have a good day today, not just Michael Clements, obviously. Uh, Mark Walker certainly has plenty of runners on the card, and I hope Jerlyn Seau can get her first winner as well. She's been uh, knocking on the door plentiful, uh, and let's hope today can possibly be the day. I did think Stephen Gray had a decent chance for some of his runners as well. He starts with St. Alwyn in the first, who I thought was, uh, was some sort of hope, uh, and he's also got Billy Elliott. Um, if you've been keeping tabs on this channel, you would have heard from Stephen there uh, regarding the 
the well-known Billy Elliot. He's got a lovely pedigree as well. He's a half-brother to a horse called Save of the Moment and also Seize the Moment, who was a winner of a Group 3 race. So certainly a nice pedigree for that one. Uh, and, uh, and he looks very interesting in the second, probably not the strongest of open maidens uh, we've ever seen here at the Singapore Surf Club. But the scene is most very much set here at Crangy this afternoon. Do stay tuned to KRTV uh, on Twitter. You can uh, follow all the action. We'll put all the replays uh, available for you there very soon after racing, plus any additional information throughout the course uh, of the day as well. If you are a subscriber to Channel 88, you can watch live. So too on Singapore Pools if you've got an account uh, as well. And don't forget, Channel 88, uh, not long after racing here this afternoon, uh, we will be taking uh, all the action from Maidan, the 25th Dubai World Cup coming up uh, over there in the UAE. Certainly looking forward to that as well. Uh, and well worth staying tuned to Channel 88 throughout the course, not just for the afternoon, but also into the evening as well. So, uh, so much to look forward to uh, here, not just from Kranji this afternoon, uh, but also racing internationally as well. Looking forward to that World Cup. Uh, a shame that uh, many people can't be there, of course, but uh, we'll get all the action on Channel 88 via the international uh, feed. It just remains uh, for me to give my best bet. That is Starlight in race number five. Really keen on him. I like BB as a bit of value in race nine. I think he could be a, a nice price if Tuesday is well supported which I think he, he well will be um, and I just thought BB was certainly an interesting runner uh, on his old form especially so um, that's about uh, all from us here at Kranji prior to racing we're around about an hour or so away from the first certainly looking forward to this card um, it's not the strongest in regards to quality but there's plenty of up and coming quality on the program uh, and plenty to look forward to I feel going forward and we're just about a month away from the first group race and the first group one here of 2021 in the shape of the Lion City Cup so hope you can join us uh, not just today but for that as well coming up in a month's time uh, but from us here at Kranji uh, that is the morning updates here on the track plenty to look forward to do stay tuned to KRTV